What's going on everyone, my name is Cynic and today I'm going to be showing all of you guys a camping strategy that me and my team have been using to rank ourselves up and hit higher rounds a little bit easier. Now this strategy works for solo games as well as 4 man teams, the only real difference that I've noticed is that if you're playing solo it's going to take you a little bit longer to set yourself up, but that's the only real difference. This strategy is pretty simple, uh, very straightforward. The only thing that I'd really recommend is before you hop into any games, uh, whether if you're playing solo, if you're playing with 4 man team, everybody that you're playing with runs free fire, which is the ability that gives you unlimited ammo it just makes everything so much easier to have at least someone at any given time have unlimited ammo and if you're going for high rounds it almost seems like a no-brainer anyways but in order to get started on the strategy what you're gonna want to do is as soon as you spawn in you're gonna want to take care of the three gas valves like you normally would clear out the sewers and drop down inside of the sewers and once you reroute the power this is where the next steps change you're now gonna want to keep this main vault door closed and find alternative routes inside of the building one alternative route is over where the Thompson is a wall by. For 1500 points, you can buy through this courtyard and be able to access Speed Cola and the first switch to open up the salt mine. Or you can head down here and for a little bit cheaper where the docks is for 1250 points you can buy open this door and you'll be immediately inside of the pack-a-punch room i personally prefer this route because it's cheaper you can flip on the switch so that way you can immediately start on pack-a-punch the mp40 is a wall buy and the ppsh is also a wall buy in this area so it just seems to be a much better place to start although keep in mind whether if you go this route or the other route first at the end of the day, you're going to have to buy both doors open because we're going to try to keep that vault door closed. But anyways, what you're going to want to do is buy that first door 1,500 points, continue down this path, buy this next door 1,500 points, and then you're in the main command room. And what I like to do is keep this door right here closed because the camping spot is the area where the M1 Grand is a wall by. And if you keep that door closed, then obviously no zombies come from that route and everything's pretty much a straight line of fire from the top of the stairs. So the camping spot is that room where the M1 Grand is a wall by. There's actually two windows inside side of there but oddly enough no zombies spawn in from those two windows uh, the only time I've ever had a zombie spawn in there was a special zombie you know that type of zombie that walks around and if you kill it it'll drop a shit ton of jolts that's the only zombie I've ever had a uh, spawn in there and it doesn't seem to actually attack anyone now if you guys noticed I actually open up the salt mine here uh, this isn't necessary this is completely unrelated from pack a punch but uh, I like to open it up because then I could get my hands on the FG 42 and I actually really love that as a wall weapon so I'd actually recommend that FG 42 as a wall weapon the M1 grand since it's right there and if you pack a punch it the M1 grand becomes a two round burst and it's actually really powerful I'd also recommend getting an LMG although not really necessary especially if you're playing with free fire just make sure you have something that's fully automatic and has a decent to high damage output and you should be set now a couple warnings when there's a flamethrower zombie i recommend you and your team all completely focus all your fire on the zombie's head that seems to be the sweet spot or have two to three people focus on him and one to two people focus on the zombies around him if you guys get overrun you guys can actually back up towards the top of the stairs here like you see me do and maneuver around the train uh, the zombies in this game aren't that aggressive they remind me a lot of world at war zombies where if you're actually moving they can't hit you they can only hit you if you're standing still or instead of backing up and retreating towards the stairs you can actually run into the command room and try to train in there just be aware when you're running outside of this room what will really get you is those slow moving zombies that will swing that mallet at you uh, what I recommend is just shoot at them, try to irritate them, make them charge at you, retreat to the stairs, and run in towards the command room. Or another thing that will get you is those zombies that are holding the bombs. So just try to kill those before you actually run outside the room because 9 times out of 10, whenever you're running out of the room and you get red screened, it's because of those zombies with the bombs. And if you do get red screened or lose any of your armor, then uh, it's no worries because right across the hall is actually more armor. So I personally love this camping strategy the most. It seems to be the easiest that I've found and the most successful that I've found. Everything's practically right here. There's no point for me to actually leave the area or do anything outside of just trying to survive. But anyways, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Did you guys find any better camping strategies? Are there any particular weapons that you guys would recommend? Uh, personally, I love the Lewis gun and the FG42 is just right there. So that's what I was aiming for and that's what I got this game. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. My name is Cynic. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, guys, I'll see you all later.